Hi there, my name is Sally Payne. I'm a trans woman with prostate cancer, which of course sounds really odd, doesn't it? A woman with prostate cancer, but I can assure you that I've got it and I've had it for 10, 10 and a half years. Uh, I've never been to a prostate cancer support group, probably because I'm not really interested in older men talking about their pissing habits. I've said this before. Um, what I need for support, I get from my family and friends massively. Uh, I expect that I will need support towards end of life, which I imagine is not that far away, although I'm hoping it is. What I would say to a healthcare professional talking about prostate cancer and trans women, it is no different to men's prostate cancer. It's exactly the same. But there are practical things that we have to face that are difficult. Um, I'm very lucky. I don't suffer too badly with gender dysphoria. And if somebody says something to me that triggers me, I'm pretty good at saying something back. Uh, however, lots of trans women aren't. They're not, they're not that able to say things. Um, there are things like going for a blood test. My blood test forms, of course, always say PCA, please do the prostate can uh, the um, PSA test. And I've had numerous um, phlebotomists say, I can't do this, you know, this is not appropriate for a woman, which uh, is double-edged. It says, okay, that you believe that I'm a woman. I'm not trying to fool you, I am a trans woman. Uh, but uh, it makes it very difficult, difficult for my consultant, particularly when he gets the blood test back and they say, not relevant for women. So you have to be aware of those things and that follows through with other stuff. Like uh, I was offered Zolodex, standard treatment for prostate cancer. And of course, the last thing that I wanted really was Zolodex. And I asked numerous consultants that I saw over that short period of time, three or four months, if I could have an orchidectomy. And I got told, forget all this trans stuff, it's not important. Well, actually it is important, it's very important to me. And the consultant that I've been with for the last 10 years, when I told him, he took about a tenth of a second to, to realise and said straight away, fantastic, yes, better for you, better for us. So those are some of the things that you need to think about with prostate cancer, with trans women. You wouldn't want to say to a man about having, having an orchidectomy. His eyes would water immediately. A trans woman would welcome it.